Welcome back to another episode of Ballin' With, guys. Let's hop right on into it today. Uh, still doing a, a series of videos for this evening, today, morning, afternoon, evening as well. All 32 teams, going to look at all their over and unders on every team. And today we are looking at the Detroit Lions. Uh, let's see how many over and under wins the fan book, the FanDuel Sportsbook has for them. And it is nine and a half. Um... These are kind of getting a little bit more tighter and tighter as I'm going down this list. But some of these are kind of like yeah, the Denver Broncos winning nine games, bro. But the Lions winning 10. Let's see. They do have the Detroit Lions winning their the division. Uh, make sure you go back and check one of those videos that I posted for the, the division winners, NFC North. Uh, but I do think Vikings will pull that out too. But uh, Lions are uh, getting a lot of praise this season. They got uh they let go of Swift, they traded him, they got Williams, but Jerry Goff is a is a very efficient quarterback, former number one overall pick. Um so they have some up on the rise stuff. Uh they do have Williams, the running back, I mean the receiver from Alabama that was great that got injured. Uh but he definitely is a pretty great player. Along with uh St. Brown too, those are pretty good receivers. So as long as they this effective on the pass, great defense can get the ball back to the offense, they can win some games. Um, but I do think they're going to lose this game opening night versus the Chiefs. Chiefs are just too good. If they, they could win because everyone will probably bet their money on the Chiefs. So, you know, how sports goes. Um, I do think they can beat the, the Seahawks. Um, it's going to be another close game. Uh, they sh they should win this game. If they don't, then that's going to be, you know, start to go on the demise of how many wins they are. But let's say 1-1. One one. You know they're going to lose the Chiefs 1-1 one one versus the Seahawks. Let's say 2-1 and one versus the Falcons. And it's the division matchup here. I do think they're going to beat Jordan Love and the Packers. This is going to be a close matchup and a good test for Jordan Love and the new look Green Bay Packers, Aaron rodgers -less Packers. Um, I do think they win here. So one loss, three wins, three and one, four and one versus the Panthers, five and one versus the Bucks, uh, five and two versus the Ram Ravens. I think they lose this game. Six and two versus the Raiders. They should win this game. Lions are a pretty solid team, so don't sleep on them. Six and three. At this point, you're six and three. You're you know above. You're kind of getting to the midpoint of the season. Eight games. Um, six and three is a good start to the season. Or going to be six and two. That's eight games, and you lose this one. Six and three. Okay, now we have to pick it back up. But Chargers going to be a great game for them. Uh, Chargers will win this game. I do think they're going to beat the Bears. Um, so go back to seven and three. Almost coming to Thanksgiving. That's a great standing. I think they beat the Packers twice too, unless Packers, you know, split them. But uh, eight and three right here, bro. They lost to the Chargers, Ravens, and Chiefs. They could lose to the Seahawks, so if they do seven and four, seven and three at this moment right here versus the. They win this game again, eight and three, eight and four right here at this point. Now, this is going to be a close game here. I do think Saints will pull it off. Uh, the Lions will pull it off, too. Uh, but let's say the Saints pull it off. So now they are either 8-4 and four or 7-5. Seven and, seven and five. Let's say 8-4. and four. Okay, let's go back down. I'm losing the numbers again. All these numbers I'm saying. 0-1, 1-1, 2-1, 3-2. No, wait. Vikings matches right here. So they had 10 games with the last three. Uh, I do think they could win, maybe split these with the Vikings. If they lose both, it's going to be hard for the Lions. 9-4 and four right here, and you lose your last four, three games to make it 9-7. and seven. That's going to be a bad disappointment. But to win nine games right there and not hit that over the hump right there, they're going to win 10 games this season, Detroit Lions. Look at their schedule, they, and, and, and they could beat the Chiefs. And they, they could lose this one. So it could still be 1-1, one one, vice versa ways, or 2-0, or 0-2 right here. Let's say 0-2. Uh, 
They win the next three, split the ones with the Packers. Let's say 0 and 2. Say they lose one with the Packers. So 1 and 4, 2 and 4, 3 and 4, 3 and 5, 4 and 5, 4 and 6. Uh, let's say 5 and 6, 6 and 6, 6 and 7, 7 and 8. For seven, seven, eight. I'm tripping. Six for seven. Six and seven. Seven and seven. Eight and seven. Nine and seven. So they're right there around. Let's say they lose a couple games that they don't, or you know, split a couple with the divisions. They're right on that mark of nine and ten wins. And I do think they're going to get over that ten win mark as well for the Detroit Lions this season. Um, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe for the people out in Michigan. Um. Eight mile to be exact, say like, nah, but um, the D- Detroit Lions are definitely a solid squad. Um, they they have some high hopes, and I've just been thinking about the teams I've been you know picking up high recently to you know top two picks and how fast it takes them to get to the playoffs. Um, and Joe Burrow got picked, and you know two seasons after that they went to the Super Bowl. So, Aiden Hutchinson, it was a high pick. Um, the Lions been doing pretty well. They got Williams, but they traded Swift, so that was a bad move on them. But we'll see what the two receivers they got um, and how they win can play out. But 10 wins is definitely doable. Nine wins is they right on the cusp, I think, too. Um, but guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We got more videos coming out with every team. We might drop these all week. Um, like I said, we got more podcasts, more news videos, more highlights, more sports challenges, more sports bets. We want to have... Um, Highlights of high school athletes in the area for football and basketball for the upcoming fall winter season. Um, just grinding it out right now. Got a lot of videos to drop, a lot of content, guys. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you see the journey and tune in for more videos.